Hello folks. After being away for a while, I thought let me just try and capture a bit of my process again. I'm starting out here because I wanted to fill you in on my plans. If you're following my Twitter, you may have noticed that I have a working typewriter now. Oh, maybe the sound is feedbacking through my uh, speakers. I should do something about that. Um, the idea about this is obviously that you can have write reports within Apodu. The thing is that certain bits of uh, environment and events can trigger occurrences to you. So like I put a trigger here in this uh, in the portal here. So when I walk through it and whoop, an idea here occurs to me and it keeps floating around my head until I get to the typewriter which is, as you can see, out of the corner of your eye, also glinting at me, and then I can start having a report about this. The thing is, I need a place to put these reports. Um, I'm calling them reports for now. They can be letters, they can be anything. I also built myself this little envi uh, environment. Uh, what's it called, inventory system, so I can put my code here and I can put stuff into my code. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. It's wonderfully messy. You can order it uh, the way you like it. I just put uh, enabled a few objects here, so I think I can put this one in. I think I can put this one in. These are just for testing purposes. Obviously, I won't be carrying around like this but I don't want the reports to be part of this I really want to have something like a stuffy binder here in the bottom part of my uh, coat or something that I can capture all the uh, uh, reports in so I'm uh, gonna model that today and then just see how far we get. Hello, we're in blocks. Let's put my uh, recording software over there. So if I turn around, I'm just checking the recording time. So, stuffy binder time. I'm thinking of just making something I'm using uh, myself. And that's just a, well, using myself. Uh, referencing something I have sketchbook I have uh, using in my regular life and that's just a uh, ringed sketchbook that you can open up and stuff all sorts of paper into um, so not really a binder the problem with using a real binder is I think oh, let me uh, turn on lab options very important is that try that again problem with a real binder you know with um, um, perforated uh, pages going through rings like this I thought about this a bit. I think that if you do a binder like this, then people will expect and it will feel weird if it doesn't happen. But pages neatly turn this way through the uh, little metal hoops here. So what I'm doing is just making a sketchbook of sorts and just stuffing papers wildly into it. I think that should be a good option. So there we go. So I have these uh, sketchbooks myself, I like them a lot. Oh, 
and I'm just messing up the bevels on it a little just to get some variation, some uh, character, I guess, into what I feel. Black spike. We remember we need to have our things be crooked because the whole world is crooked. Let's see. I'm gonna spend way too much time on just the front bit of cotton here. But if you use a artboard, is it called hardboard carton? I uh, think like this a lot. The uh, um, corners tends to uh, blunt, get a little blunt. So I like to um, simulate that here a little. Uh, let me start out with the rings. Now, you might, if you follow me a little, you may know that I'm always using odd subdivided uh, spheres, so no wonder here. And let's just see what happens if I big like this nah, i think i should make them as small as they are in or as small as thin as they are in real life like so more or less <laughs> and in the type i'm using i can't really make this any thinner um, the type I'm using, they double up these uh, ring things, like so. I am modeling this, by the way, a little bit too large. I think an actual A4 book like this would be around this size more or less, but I'm modeling it this big so I can put in a little extra detail, which you kind of need for something that is going to be uh, right in your face so much. Let me put those rings in little pairs like this. Hmm. It looks a bit too me mechanical to me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. Sensitive, are we? Uh -huh. So, let's see. Maybe just do separate little rings like this. Hee <laughs> Yeah, that might work. Looks a bit, bit uh, not straight enough, so to say. So let me just put a little guideline over here. This, let's call this a bit straight. Move it down. Ah, whatever. And then just all the rings. Yes, so. Better. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. Cool. Yeah, we might need that. Cool. One more. Hmm. 
actually I'm actually looking at this through squinted eyes just like in real life to see if it appears straight enough to me squinty squint and there that should work unless obviously when this uh, is actually a metal uh, material it will work much better Okay, let's uh, group that up now. This should be good. Excuse me. What I want to do, or at least I want to try, build in a few holes. Not sure if this is a good idea because it will be. Oh, excuse me. I want to. That one up. It's a lot of um, detail, and when I start rotating this, this won't be aligned anymore. Let me let me just uh, leave it out. Because no way, all these rings are uh, aligned so that you can turn the page like this and have the, all the holes match up. So we simply just. Don't do that. Thinking now. Hmm. Actually, second guessing myself, I feel like this thing should be. Uh, let me see, where's the other side? Should be much thicker. Hmm. Okay. I'm starting over. And I'm starting over in grid mode. I want to have a straight table here. There we go. I want to use these ones and align them with, oh, excuse me, with table more or less. So, oh, they're a bit straight. So, just so I dare and duplicate this, swap it without it uh, getting at a weird angle, and then move it down, and then <laughs> again adjusting it with grid mode off, this should work, right? See, now I'm second guessing the placement of those rings. I think they should just be a tiny bit bigger. to be this stuffed more or less so we pick this up and we make it bigger and put them like here mm -hmm. i think that's better and then we remove these fellas and adjust the stuff again Turn off grave mode. Yeesh. Should be good. Oh, black spike. I may be big 
being a bit too precise here. Because this is just something I wanted to build quickly, just to try out if it would work at all. So, let me try and soldier on for now. Although it obviously should look good as well. So, one idea I had was to have like these um, elastic uh, wrappers. That we can put stuff under the inside of the cover. And I'll use another one over here. Mm -hmm. Making it up as I go along. Mm -hmm. Noise. Now, obviously, there needs to be. Hmm, a label on this, and I think I'm gonna give it a border layer. And just oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. So this is my label. Maybe. shouldn't look too childish, I think. It should look a bit serious. The person making this journal is really, really working on something. It's not just for fun. So, let's try and give it a bit of a look. That's... Uh, Well, that feels right for that. I actually box modeling now. I don't believe it. I never, never box model. But let's let's do it. Hmm. We'll yeah. We're immediately stopping again because I like to do it like these. The wrong way. I always taught myself isn't allowed in modeling, sticking stuff through each other like so, but I like it. Okay, and don't forget to save. And let me just rough it up a little more. Hmm, it's the gray kind, right? And I'm using this as a metal color for this, so. Mm, let's see what happens if I try and rough it up with this color. Oh, oh, once more. Okay. Come on. That's one, yes. And I want to select Aziz here. And find a nice uh, polygon penetration shape here. E. Super! Yes! Be a bit bigger, but this is okay, I guess. So let's group this up here. Piggy, pepper. There. So this is the uh, front cover. I guess I could group this up together. 
Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. I'm pressing undo now because I'm thinking I could maybe push. Oh, let's go this up. Uh, push this way a little. Mm -hmm. uh, back here. Like this. Okay, I think this will work. I'm gonna assume it works and I'm leaving this open for modeling the rest. Now I can group this, I think. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's good. Yes. Um. Now, reams of paper. Shall I do that just with the white? Use white over here. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. I could try and do the snappy uh, thing here, but I'm not so used to how that works. Yeah, so I'm just doing it like this. I like to adjust my stuff. Uh, after the fact, anyway. So I'm just modeling a few pages in the front and a few in the back. I thought just a little stack of paper. And then I'm gonna model a few loose pieces of paper that can flip to and fro and maybe scale i'm not sure yeah and then build up a stack of blocky uh um, blocky paper volumes like that that i can play around with in uh, unity give the illusion of uh, reading through the whole thing I'm not sure I'm gonna do that, yeah. But I know I will might need shapes like this. So I'm just building them and then hoping I can put them to good use. Hmm. Making a cut here. And one over here and snapping these two points together. And just not worrying about everything that happens beneath there. Mm -hmm. This kind of works. Just roughing it up a little. Yeah, I like, and let me do the same trick over here. Oh, sorry, I want a single cut here, and I want to move you up, and let's also move you up. So, a little cut over here, and have a little safety cut over here. Yes, and hope that the underside will take care of itself. Okay, there we go. I will want to move this like so a little. Oh, I forget to regroup after I let go. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 
works. Uh, 20 minutes in, okay. Nope, still not good. Well, there we go. So, uh, we will need some extra papers, I think, just loose. Paper that still belongs to this uh, sketchbook here. I'm calling it a sketchbook because I'm modeling it after a sketchbook in the real world. Its function is more that of a binder, obviously. There. This is done. One of the pages you may be able to turn. But what I also want to do is have the pages stuck within oh that's not good maybe a bit smaller for example yeah you can keep complaining blocks just do it anyway just I'm giving them a different color for now just to uh, remind me that this is meant to be another type of paper but like I could probably something like uh, this for one of these papers make it like more of a folded letter type letter type see you can just uh, Stuff this in, they won't fit neatly, but I like that idea. Uh, let's make it gray. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Because the idea is obviously that we're typing these things on the typewriter. So they can't really be pages within the binder, but eh, we will uh, grant ourselves some artistic license there. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if this is what I really want. Maybe, just thinking out loud here, I would want all the reports that I type on the typewriter to just be inserted in between the normal sketching pages of the sketchbook here. So that when you open it, you have reams and reams and reams and reams and reams of oh, pages that you can browse through, reread and stuff. And just build up a collection of those. So we have this type, we now have this type, which is a bit crooked, which is nice. We can maybe, maybe it's smart to try and make them the right ratio compared to each other so that text doesn't squish ugly these types of paper. <laughs> I guess this might be a little bit of a boring video, me just modeling various types of paper uh, various types of stationery, but it's a job that needs to be done so I'm doing it and I'm just recording it for fun, really. Hmm. Would that be enough? Or do I want another one? Maybe, let's just try. Uh, have one more. And that's going to be it, I think, with regards to... amount of oh 
uh, okay, there. The amount of uh, paper types eating. So we have this over here. Oh, I want to select the edges, please, and have maybe this here. I'm just messing up the shape a little. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Oh. May have messed oh the shape up too much. Nope. I just want to select the dots here, please. Okay. Let's retry that. Just just a little shading irregularities. I like that. And let me bend one corner. Make this. And the beauty with paper is, of course, now we have a variation that looks like this, and we have a variation that looks like these. Hmm. Did, okay. The, that cut here didn't take hold. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. So these are the, the pages for the reports. Why is the shading so ugly over here? What's happening? Let's just do it like this. Then it looks deliberate. Uh-huh. Now, just a few things more. I like these bits uh, enough to keep. I'm just uh, putting them over here, so I have an idea of the uh, collection I'm building. I wanted to have some extra detail maybe in here still. Maybe I can use the uh, triangle shape here better. You know, little sticky up bits. Who doesn't like nice little sticky up bits? So, not entirely sure I like what happened, what's happening here. I think I might try. See what happens if I do it like this. That's a bit better. And let's do something else like, hmm, maybe this just another paper sticking out over here really did have to make this one a cube at all So, cool, and then, yeah, you know me, I can stop, uh, we can have a little pink slip over here, you know, let's make it blue, and let's make it from here to here first. 
and then extrude this one over here. Cool. Yeah, this is more or less the look I was going for. I'm not entirely sure if what I'm doing here will work with the system of uh, browsing that I'm using in my uh, inventory as well. I wanted to act like that you can pick it up. Oh, I need to group my stuff. Hold on a moment. Let me do this so I can demonstrate what I mean. So, uh huh. So that you can pick it up with one hand and then browse the stuff with the other and then have the pages uh, animate for, for like an animation like this and then disappear and reappear and have the text everywhere. And it should be quite a significant uh, coding challenge, but I like my challenges. Um, I think. Let me let me have a little think. Let me see, just save again to fill the time. I think this should be enough, really. Very maybe. Oh, ha ha ha! Could try to check that. It shouldn't happen, obviously. And then this shouldn't happen. Okay, let's do it like this. A um, bit of thinking time. Because I'm thinking I might be forgetting some thing. I was thinking about having more, just to think out loud, more of a official binder with also like a spot to put your pen and stuff but then people will you know expect to be able to write with that pen and that is something for another day totally so there we go here's my uh, stuffy binder modeling done and complete i like it no i don't like it thank you for sticking around with these last it's because that looks so incredibly ugly. There we go. That's mm, better. No one will notice. Uh huh. So there's my stuffy binder. So again, guys, folks, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful in any way or entertaining. I don't know. I like just modeling and recording because it keeps me a bit sharp and a bit on edge. And I'll speak to you later when I hope to be able to show you how this system will work in the game. Okay, bye bye.